Thanks for joining the conservation this week at the Bear Hunting Magazine Global Headquarters. This week, we went down into my home turf and went on a mule, mule back turkey hunt. Is that a good way to say it? Mule back turkey hunt. Me and you worked like dogs to get this May, June issue out to print. And man, does it ever look good. I just got it in the office today. Polar bear, hounds, bear bait strategy, color face bear from Riverside Lodge in Manitoba, Cuddy Link on the back. This is a good looking magazine. There aren't many small magazines that look as good as this. Sometimes it's hard to be unbiased when you're just this good. Hey man, hey, Jet. nope, nope, hey. April 20th, we're in Arkansas. It's a nice morning. It's about 35 degrees. There's two turkeys within five square miles of me. And me and Izzy, we're gonna try to find them. Last week, my daughter River and I hunted right here only to be stifled by stiff winds. And we didn't hear a gobble the whole day. <laughs> about an hour after a goblin light. The wind is laid down, it's pretty nice. Here's the story on Arkansas turkey hunting. When I was a kid growing up around here in the late 90s, turkey hunting was pretty darn good. And from then it's just gone downhill. Any direction that you go from right here into Oklahoma, into Southern Missouri, to Tennessee, into Mississippi, turkey hunting is much better than it is here. The, hunting these eastern birds in big national forests is tough. You gotta cover a lot of ground and I just run and gun. Just cut and call and owl hoot and crow, just move around, just trying to shot gobble one, top the mule, and then go after him. This ain't no farm country Iowa turkey hunting, which ain't taking nothing from it. But this is a different animal. Riding a mule in this type of terrain isn't a cakewalk. Honestly, I'm not sure it wouldn't be easier to walk. Limbs, briars, and rocks are a constant battle. However, when you get to where you're going, your legs will be fresh. Some of it was so steep that I just led the mule. Come on. Come on, mule. This is Izzy, and I trained her from scratch last spring. She's turning into a phenomenal animal for me, which basically means she'll go where you point her, won't buck you off, and she's easy going. It took me two hours to get where I wanted to go. On the trip in, I didn't hear any turkeys or see any sign. However, a Cuddyback trail camera I'd left on the mountain from the past fall told me there was at least one gobbler on the mountain. It's about nine o'clock. I'm where I want to be. And the wind is really nice. I've tied Izzy up over here and I'm just gonna hunt a foot now. Just walk and call. I literally walked a hundred yards from Izzy and on the second cutting sequence, I heard a gobble within 150 yards. I just cut a gobbler. I only called one more time after my initial sequence. The bird gobbled and he'd closed the distance by half. Buddies, we just killed ourselves. A Washita Mountain Goblin Turkey, son. Holy cow. Look at there. <laughs> Buddy. Holy cow. I'm like a schoolgirl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Thank you, Lord. Holy cow, look at that. Wake up at three o'clock in the morning, drive two hours, ride a mule an hour and a half. And I get up here and the wind is just dead still. And I walk a hundred yards down the top of this mountain, call, want answers. We didn't get any footage of that. You couldn't see him, but I don't care. I'm about to walk up to Izzy. She's never seen a turkey before. Almost you would just assume that you could walk up to one and just throw a deer or a turkey or a bear on its back and then just be fine with it, but not always. And if you got one that'll do it, you've got a good one. Oh, I was standing at this mule not 30 minutes ago. One of the most rewarding parts of this whole gig is partnering with an animal that you train from scratch. I think you're gonna be fine. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Good girl. Time for a little celebration. Jet Boil coffee. Come on, Jet Boil. Thanks for joining the conservation this week at the Bear Hunting Magazine Global Headquarters. Subscribe to Bear Hunting Magazine to get the May-June issue and check out the DVD, Season 4 of Bear Horizon. Keep the wild places wild, and I pray they're full of turkeys. Let's go, Jed. Come on.